Everyone knows when Bruce Banner gets mad, he turns into the Hulk. And when the Hulk gets mad, he turns into Chuck Norris. The Hulk can jump with enough velocity to escape the atmosphere of the Earth. He has skin tougher than Kevlar. He heals 1.8 million times faster than the average human. And he can also do this. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. So how did Bruce Banner ever develop the ability to turn into a big green monster whenever he gets angry? Apparently it's because of some severe gamma radiation exposure. This is because gamma rays affect animals by hitting them with enough energy to ionize, break, or mutate cellular DNA. This makes your cells unable to make proper proteins and cause your body to change in a way that it is not supposed to. Even though this usually leads to some sort of organ failure, in the case of Bruce Banner, it led to a mutation where whenever he gets angry he turns into this. So how could you turn a 5 foot 9, 120 pound scientist into an 8 foot tall, 1,400 pound Hulk? When humans get angry or scared, the fight or flight response is triggered. This leads your adrenal medulla to release adrenaline, aka epinephrine. The release of this hormone results in many things such as an increased heart rate, extra blood flow to the muscles, and an overpowering craving to smash things. And Hulk. <sighs> smash. This adrenaline is what gives your body that natural super strength when you are under stress. And this is also true for the Hulk, except this adrenaline also triggers some sort of mechanism that adds a bunch of mass to him. How he adds so much muscle in such a little amount of time is so crazy that there are only two major explanations to how he does this. One is that he is also a lithotroph organism, meaning that he takes the carbon and nitrogen from the air and uses it to grow, similar to how a tree grows. But he would have to grow 31,500,000 times faster than the largest tree ever, General Sherman as shown here. So on to theory number two. This theory is that he converts energy directly into mass using gamma rays. Now that might sound crazy, but this actually occurs in certain places in the universe, such as black holes. The problem is that the Hulk would need about 70 quintillion joules of energy to add that 1,280 pounds of Hulk weight, which is the same amount of energy as the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated 300 times at once. Let's just say that all of that stuff is true and that Bruce Banner turning into the Hulk doesn't cause a massive nuclear explosion that would kill everyone. Except Indiana Jones, of course. So how strong is the Hulk? Well, he managed to stop a one million ton flying snake with a punch. But that's nowhere near his limit. The heaviest thing the Hulk ever lifted in the Marvel Universe was a 150 billion ton mountain. So theoretically, the Hulk could lift 25,000 Great Pyramids of Giza. Anyways, thanks for watching The Element, and don't forget to punch that like and subscribe button down below.